it's Faye. Long time no black headed vid. How you doing? How's it going? Warning, do not eat. Okay, thanks. Today I have a fun quick review of this new device I found on Amazon. What? two-in-one blackhead vacuum skin humidifier system <gasps> by the one and only skin vester this is taking blackhead sucking to the next level lol i was able to deal out a coupon code if you want to save some money so come through sis this system has a built-in skin humidifier that soothes the skin before during and after suctioning that's the highlight of this tool why does this sound so wrong? <laughs> you best believe I got some juice out. So before you see that, here's my baby. This whole pack comes with the pore vacuum, four different suction heads, microderm abrasion head, large round head, small round head, and the elliptical head. A USB cable for charging. Yay, no batteries. A plastic funnel, plastic pump, a pack of replacement sponges and rubber rings, a black headed tweezer, and your manual guide. It's a lot, but it's easy. Calm down, Linda. Here you have two buttons. Top button is for the humidifier, but honestly, it's more like a light mist of water. Still works, so I'm not complaining. The bottom button is for the suctioning, which has three clicks for three different intensities, light, medium, and heavy. You basically want to use the funnel to pump in warm to hot water. I thought the sponge was for the funnel, but it's not, so um, don't do that. The sponges and rings are for replacement purposes for when your tool gets older and ages like me i'm old okay now that that's settled look at my nose baby <laughs> it is beyond disgusting i'm honestly trying to stop using so much blackhead strips or at least ting myself a little at least so this suction tool was the perfect move especially if you don't want to yank so much on your pores in terms of peeling so this is pore friendly for today i'm gonna use the t-zone head but if you want me to test out the microderm abrasion head or the ones for my whole face like this video and i'll do that in a separate one and maybe we'll see Okay, so I'm gonna start off with damping my face a bit. First, move the ceiling using the top button, which is the humidifier. You can leave this on while suctioning. It'll shut off after one minute and you can always reactivate it. You'll find that sometimes the pump stops and that's because of certain movements or angles you're at. I was really impressed. Plus, it's hot, it's summer, so this pump just made my life easier, TBH. Starting off with the lowest intensity, you want to build up the pressure depending on your skin sensitivity. The lowest mode was already so much strength, so I stayed in the safe zone or the friend zone. <laughs> my life use your tool by moving it bottom to top but honestly it's easier if you go top to bottom that way you're not tugging too much on your nose and that's basically what you do i'm just impressed by the power this has it's so much stronger than any vacuum i've used other poor vacuums that i reviewed before were a bit weak and didn't have much of a grip this one omg it's almost like an ex frenemy who won't let go it does really suck the life out of you, so I highly recommend you to stay seated, Yanny, because the laurel's coming through. Do you see what I'm seeing? Juice. Green juice. Mm-hmm. Gross. But cool. That oil buildup does not lie. I'm serious. You're seeing it with your own eyes, okay? Ugh. 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 PSA, here's what you shouldn't do that I accidentally did. Don't leave this device on very sensitive, soft areas. I didn't move it in time, so it kind of got stuck on the side of my nose and it um bruised a bit. Just comes to show you how real it gets out here in the Midwest. What? I don't know why I said that. But yeah, be cautious when using this pore vacuum and know that it's here to do its job, not to play around. After, use the mist to spritz your face so it's moist and smooth. And then just follow up with your skincare routine. Highly recommend to use this tool like once or twice a week or every other week. Honestly, you don't need to do it a lot because um, sometimes we need the good oils to stay on our face. So 
yet. If I were to rate this tool, it gets a 5 out of 5. Honestly, there's just so much thought invested behind this tool, aka Skin Vester. Get it? With the amount of products you get to prep and alternate around, it's definitely worth the money in my opinion. One of the best skin vacuums out there for external, at home use, do it yourself, DIY, come through, wait, no, no. Use my coupon code 15 I love Faye to save 25% off. Poor vacuums definitely die down a bit since their appearance, but this one just made a huge comeback and I think it's the only one with a skin humidifier built in. Just get this, okay, just take my word, it, it's really good. That is it for this video. I hope it was helpful and you learned something new and you learned how to use this tool. Don't forget to like this video if you want me to try out the other heads. <laughs> no. Subscribe to the Faye Bay family and follow me on Instagram. Until next time, I'm sending love. Bye. Bye.